On 15th April 2014, the Supreme Court recognized transgender persons as a third gender and affirmed the right to decide their own gender identity, such as male, female or as third gender. The court held that non-recognition of gender identity violates the rights to equality and life provided to all citizens. The centre and state governments were directed to treat transgenders as socially and educationally backward classes and extend reservations in cases of admission in educational institutions and for public appointments. The judgment was passed in the National Legal Services Authority, NALSA, versus Union of India and others case. One of the directions given is to bring them up to the position of respect that they enjoyed, which is huge. That means from wherever, at whatever level they are now today, you have to pull them up to the same level of acceptability and respectability that existed, say, in the, you know, the Mughal or the earlier eras in the scriptures because they have been all referred to in the judgment. Importantly, the Supreme Court accepted the broad definition of transgender as including persons who do not identify with the sex they were born with. Transgender is an umbrella term for all traditional and non-traditional trans communities who use different names to identify themselves. Some have had surgery or hormone therapy, some haven't, while others are fluid in their gender expression. The best known are the Hijras, the oldest ethnic group of transgenders in India and probably in the world. The judgment in it says goes beyond the usual mandate of just looking at this one group, but embraces a whole lot of definitions and identities, whether they are Shiv Shaktis or they are Jogapas, whether they are male to female transgenders, female to male transgenders. It's been very broad in its sense and uh, embraces a whole lot of identities. So I think the judgment itself is a very broad judgment because it, it talks about identities which have been silenced or not been visible for a very long time. So I think this judgment is very proactive. We are clearly not the first country in the world dealing with it. But I think um, we had a very sensitive hearing from the bench um, and it never lost focus that we were asking for your rights. They were not. They were never charity. No, neither the petitioners, us, nor the bench. And uh, that's what came back in the judgment as well. Hijras have been a vocal group in the campaign to get recognition for all transgenders and for LGBT rights. Hijras are male to female transgenders, and the community is structured into karanas, each led by a guru. Not all male to female transgenders are hijras, however. Even as hijras lead the way, some communities like female to male transgender, intersex and intergender continue to remain invisible. Their lives are extremely difficult, but their stories are rarely heard. Hijra activists Gauri Savant and Lakshmi Narayan Tripathi were among those who impleaded in the Supreme Court case, providing key inputs. Their activism at the national and international fora is seen as a game changer. No child should be, uh, you know, sexually assaulted because of its sexuality, confused sexuality. There should be safety for everybody. And now the new prime minister which has come, he, I heard his Varudra speech when he spoke. He said, I'm prime minister of every Indian who voted, who didn't vote it for me and for every community. I believe immaterial to whatever their party stand takes or anything because this will require a bigger political commitment. I'm an Indian and I voted. My dignity is as big as the dignity of the President of India. We spoke to a cross-section of hijra activists who hope the judgment will help in addressing the phobia against transgenders and that future generations will not face what they had to go through. They say for the first time they feel they've been identified as citizens of the country. I think my immediate reaction was like um, I got my independence. So like you know I was on top of the world and like it was really good. First feeling that appeared into my mind was uh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh there's a huge amount of work now is yet to be done. It's not over yet. It's not this, this, this acceptance is not from the society, this is just a beginning. I think we have a long way to go ahead. I wish 
uh, this judgment would have come out at least 20 years back, I would have not left my biological parents. I think from, from, from this day onwards, I don't think now any kid would be forced to leave their biological parents if they are uh, if their nature is, or or if their thinking is is of or of a trans community even if we have this verdict you know how many state you know government is really going to implement it i mean take it in and how many department is going to have the, this thing into the system if i want to go uh, to a particular department, let's for say hypothetically, uh, you know, uh, Delhi Transport Corporation, and I want to be a conductor in a bus, or, you know, I want to be a driver, will they welcome me? Changing people's mindset is very much important, number one, and also sensitizing each department of government, like education department, health department, is, it is equally important. Supreme Court has passed a law that doesn't mean if everything is solved. Now every department have to sit and talk to us. Let us know your problems, how we can help you, how we can involve you. And it will be a mutual thing. I mean, just uh, uh, passing a law, just giving a verdict will not solve until and unless there will be the strictly protocol will be mentioned at the grassroots level, at the implementation level through proper awareness, advocacy and changing the inf infrastructure. Sensitize, if they start school level, then the best. Hai. हम लोगों के लिए बहुत बेनिफिट होगा क्योंकि शायद अगर एक छोटा सा बच्चा होता है क्योंकि अगर हम बच्चे को बचपन में देखा है ना कि जब टोली के लिए भी जाते हैं बधाई के लिए भी लोग हिजड़े घर पर जब जाते हैं तो बच्चे माँबाप बोल देते हैं नहीं 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 छुप जाओ हिजड़े आ गए मतलब बच्चों के दिमाग में अगर स्टार्टिंग से देंगे स्कूल लेवल कॉलेज लेवल फिर आगे चलकर जब वो समझदार हो जाता है तो फिर वो समझने लगेगा कि हाँ ठीक है अब ये लोग भी हमारे सामाजिक हैं हमारे हिस्सा हैं हम जैसे मेल और फीमेल हैं वैसे ही ये लोग हैं हम लोग कोई अलग नहीं है वेन वी सी आर ट्रांस वूमेन और आर हिजरा दैट मीन्स she is has come from some different kind of a planet she is not like us so let's like taunt her list uh, bullying her this is a very much common practice and also a very wrong notion people have got that this people has got nothing to do uh, apart from sex work or begging you know money at the road and also they don't understand i mean why we don't have any work because the system is I mean, I cannot say corrupted, but the system is not there for us. People are going to say, now you've got a job, why are you begging? Now you've got also rights, why, why do you do such kind of work? But I would in return explain each and every individual, how many people have you kept in your work? Have you even kept a trans maid in your house? No. Because you've got that society, so-called culture, that's what you know, you have that perception in your mind. I think it is going to take a lot of time. None of the gurus are unhappy with the judgment. Yes, there could be few gurus who are unhappy, but we are trying to, uh, you know, spread this message across the entire community that, no, this is a false statement that none of the traditional income is going to come down. It is as going to go. But now you have an, another opportunity. In case if you don't like Badai, you can enter a job. It gives an opportunity to reach out to the right stakeholders to ask for your own rights. There are times when people can just brush you off. You know, because especially when you when this, these kind of policies are not there on paper. I think what is important at this point of time that you have that paper where you can, you know, say to the stakeholders that I'm legal. I'm here now. You have to take me on account. For all transgenders, the first layer of transphobia they encounter is at the family level. Parents often have the misconception that the child who is breaking sexual and gender norms has a mental disease or is influenced by others. 21-year-old Ritika leads a double life. She wears makeup and dresses in feminine clothes only when she is at work at the office of an NGO. At home, she is known as Rajwinder and has to be in male attire. I am from a Punjabi family, so in Punjabi, there are a lot of people who are masculine, like a man type. If they are born, they are a man, a man. If they are born, they are a man, they are a man, they are a man, they are a man, they are a man. वो वो थोड़ा सा प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम्स है वहाँ पे तो इसी तरीके से मेरे साथ भी ऐसा ही होता था मैं ही नहीं इवन कोई भी अगर हिंदू है या कोई किसी भी कास्ट का है तो वो बोलता है कि हमारी कास्ट में ये सब मान्य नहीं है अगर तुम ऐसा करोगे तो 
तुम्हारी टांगे तोड़ दी जाएंगी इवन मेरे साथ भी ऐसा हुआ मुझे काफ़ी अपने घर वालों की मार खानी पड़ी अपने पापा की मार खानी पड़ी कि तुम ये सब छोड़ो Ritika's father, who works as a driver and mother, a housewife, has been through shock, denial, and anger. What do you want to do? I want to be very good with Rajvinder. I want to be very good with him. As we are the people, we are the people of our religion, Guru Nanak Ji's religion. So, we want to live in that religion, we want to live in that religion. I don't believe it. They say that they are angry. They say that they are very angry. They say that they are very angry. लेकिन लोग यहाँ पे थोड़ा बातें बूते करते हैं उससे हमें बड़ी परेशानी होती है तो एक ही लड़का है चार साल से ही पता चला है तीन चार साल हो गए हैं इसको बहुत कोशिश की मैंने इसको बदलाने की लेकिन डॉक्टर को भी चेक कराया मैंने डॉक्टरों को डॉक्टरों ने कहा भी बिल्कुल लड़का ठीक है इसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है जब पैदा हुआ था तब भी ये ठीक ठाक था तो वो चाहता है राजेंद्र शादी करना है नहीं करता मानता I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. So, you have a shame about it? Yes. Do you want to do it? Do you not want to do it? Yes. So, do you understand that you can do it? Yes. They are doing a lot. They don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. Recent studies place the average age of coming out as between mid and late teens, which is also the school going years. Almost all transgenders face verbal and physical harassment in school, forcing them to discontinue their education. Ritika, who was at this government school, says she was abused and beaten by boys. Teachers did not come to her help because they thought she was at fault for her feminine behavior. Ritika tried to sensitize her teachers and went on to become a school monitor. Today, she's enrolled as a BA student at Delhi University. मेरी फैमिली मतलब पहले से काफी सेंसिटाइज हुई हैं आफ्टर द वेरी डिक्ट ठीक है और बाकी ये कि मतलब उस तरीके से नहीं है कि मैं फ्रीडम होके जी सकूं मैं ही नहीं ऐसे हजारों लाखों ट्रांसजेंडर्स लोग होंगे जो कि यू नो दो मुंह हाँ जिंदगी जीते हैं अपना बाहर आके वो लोग एक ड्रेसअप में हो जाते हैं और घर जा� Analysts say the judgment could be a turning point. The judgment has taken the issues of transgenders to people's homes and opened discussions on why they are marginalized, how they can be a part of the mainstream and what are the options before them. <laughs>